The Honourable Reverend Fred Nile. Tonight I wish to speak on the Coptic Christian protest about the tragic events occurring in Egypt. I am greatly disturbed and, and alarmed, as are many Christians, including the Coptic Christians in Sydney, by the rapid turn of events in Egypt and the senseless loss of life overall. I had the opportunity of observing some of these events during my nine-day visit to Egypt, uh, which commenced from the 30th of June this year. Uh, I arrived just at the climax of the peaceful revolution by 33 million Egyptians calling for the removal of President Morsi. Coptic Christians are now living under siege all over Egypt as the Muslim Brotherhood unleashes its terror after having launched widespread coordinated attacks on Coptic Christians throughout Egypt. For that reason, I believe that uh, movement, the Muslim Brotherhood, should be declared a terrorist organisation. As a result of these uh, disturbances and violence, over 80 Coptic churches, monasteries, schools and Coptic domed properties have been destroyed in violent rampages by members of the Muslim Brotherhood across the country since the military crackdown. Hundreds of cops have been killed and injured. Eleven Coptic Christian institutions have also been looted and burned, including an orphanage. Coptic churches dating back as far as the 4th century have been destroyed. But the cops are not only the only target. In an effort to terrorise the entire country, the Muslim Brotherhood has also reportedly killed hundreds of policemen, stormed and tried to take over police stations, burnt blood banks and damaged hospitals and public buildings, including historic museums in Upper Egypt, where more than a thousand ancient Egyptian artefacts were stolen. They even attempted to burn the Alexandrian Library. They are intent on turning Egypt into a rogue state for their own agenda, which is not the interest of the majority of the peace-loving Egyptians. As a result of these events, uh, the Coptic Christians and others held a protest on Saturday the 24th of March this year to rally against the Muslim Brotherhood's attacks targeting Coptic Christians and the people of Egypt in general. Hundreds of Egyptian uh, Australians and members of the Australian public attended a rally in Martin Place, Sydney, to protest against violent, coordinated attacks by the Muslim Brotherhood on Coptic churches and other religious organisations, including schools, monasteries, orphanages, the destruction of hospitals, police stations and other public buildings, and the looting and damage caused to the ancient Egyptian museum. The protest was organised by the Australian Coptic Movement Association in conjunction with a number of Australian Egyptian uh, organisations, including Coptic Orphans, International Conscience for Human Rights, the Australian Coptic Association, the Australian Egyptian Council Forum, the Australian Egyptian Federation, the Australian Egyptian Friendship Association, the Coptic Centre for Culture and Arts, the Egyptian Social Democratic Party, the Egyptians, Egypt, Free Egyptians Party, the Upper Egyptians Australian Community and others. The event commenced with the national anthems of both Australia and Egypt, followed by one minute silence to commemorate those who had lost their lives, particularly the Coptic Christians in the recent uprising. The ACM spokesman, Peter Tadros, gave a detailed account of former President Morsi's record and reiterated the view that the ousting of President Morsi was a revolution, not a coup. The following members of Parliament addressed uh, the rally, Mr Laurie Ferguson, MP, ALP member for Warrawa, Scott Morrison, MP, uh, Federal Member for Scott and Shadow Minister for Productivity and Population, Immigration and Citizenship, uh, I was privileged to address that uh, protest as well uh, in conjunction with the Honourable David Clark, MLC Parliamentary Secretary for Justice. Notably, Mr Morrison uh, pledged that under a Liberal government more places will be open for Egypt's persecuted cops who wish to seek asylum in Australia, mm -hmm. but we want to see Australia uh, supporting a peaceful Egypt so Coptic Christians can live in peace in Egypt and not have to leave mm -hmm. as refugees. Other speakers included uh, Dr Mustafa Rashid, who reiterated earlier calls by me for the Muslim Brotherhood to be listed as a terrorist organisation. Dr Sarat El Bana also delivered an impassioned speech. There are a number of Muslim uh, citizens there supporting this rally and who opposed the violence in Egypt. In fact, the 33 million people who took part in the revolu peaceful revolution uh, included many, many millions of moderate Muslims who oppose 
the activities of the Muslim Brotherhood. They then marched from the, from the uh, Martin Place down to Sydney Town Hall uh, for a final conclusion. Let us pray for the people of Egypt, especially the Coptic Christians. Mm -hmm.